Hello Enchanted Ones and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you simple ways to celebrate Lammas or Lunasa. The ideas are so simple yet rewarding to mark the first Sabbath of the harvest. But before we begin, if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. But for now, sit back. Lammas, or Lunasa, marks the middle of summer. It is one of the four fire festival Sabbaths and honours the sun and the abundance of life it has given us so far this year. The most important event to happen during Lammas is that it's the first harvest of the year. There are tons of ways to celebrate, the simplest of all being to wear and decorate with the colours you can see. I use this as a good excuse to wear one of my favourite colours, mustard yellow. To honour the sunflowers, the yellow meadows and above all, the sun. I also incorporated this colour into my decor with this beautiful throw and to be a bit extra added some warm yellow tones to my makeup but you needn't just wear yellow. The first harvest at Lammas has many bright colours you may be attracted to. I'm just in love with its warmth and richness. Next for my hair, I plaited a small braid at the back. To me, a plait represents one of the most prominent symbols of Lammas. Wheat. I then began to decorate my altar, first giving it a little tidy up. Then I added some yellow candles and switched up my crystals for the Sabbath. Crystals such as citrine, clear quartz, malachite and carnelian are great for this time of year. You may also want to leave some offerings such as flowers or wheat or food to say thank you for the harvest. This Sabbath is mainly focused around the harvest and incorporating foods from the harvest into crafts and recipes, so you may find yourself outside picking from your vegetable patch or visiting your local farmer's market or shop. And this is exactly where I was going today, visiting my local farm shop to help pick up fresh harvested foods. This is great for many reasons. One being that you are supporting local businesses, but two, choosing to eat local foods is a great way to help you connect with your homeland and the earth underneath your feet. And this can help you to become more grounded and surprisingly can help with your sleep patterns. I picked up all sorts of fresh vegetables and in all shapes and sizes that I plan on making a Lammas feast with and it was such a fun trip that I now plan on doing often. I made sure to pick up a few things that I didn't plan on cooking with but plan on crafting with this beautiful wheat grass and some dried corn husks. I bought these dry but you can easily dry your own out as they are only the shell of a corn on the cob. And with these two items I plan on making a corn doll. Corn dolls were traditionally made to honour fertility, mother earth and are seen as the seed of nature. You don't just have to use corn husks, you can use whatever you have on hand. I started by soaking three of the husks in water for 10 minutes. This will allow them to become more workable and then patted them dry with the tea towel. I aligned two on top of each other and then using string, tied a small piece at the top. I then opened up the husks and turning them around on themselves, secured another piece of string around the top to make my doll's head. Next it was time to work on the arms and for this I rolled up the other husk, securing it both sides with string and then placed it within the doll 
tying a final piece of string to secure the arms in place, but also to shape its body. You could leave your cordon with the skirts, but if you wanted to make trousers, simply cut the husks in half and tie each leg with string. They are so easy to make and were so fun. I lastly added some wheat with a glue gun to give them hair and decorations. Once these dolls were made, traditionally they were buried with the next year's crop seeds. This was seen as an offering to Mother Earth and a symbol of returning what the Earth provided back to the Earth once more, thus representing the circle of life. And because of this, they are often seen at ham fastings and given as gifts when someone is trying to conceive a baby. But for me, these cute dollies will make a wonderful decoration on my table for my Lamas feast. So next I got to work preparing my feast and there is perhaps one thing that you might want to cook with. And in my opinion, it is the most beautiful flower of all, the sunflower. The sunflower has so many magical properties. It symbolizes good luck, abundance, warmth, and above all, the sun. And once it has bloomed, it creates the most wonderful earthy seeds, sunflower seeds. I picked up quite a lot of them at the farm shop as I knew I needed a lot for today as I'm going to be making sunflower oil. This is very simple to make. I first measured out one cup of sunflower seeds and placed these into a blender until grounded. I then place them into a bowl and mix with them two tablespoons of water. To extract the sunflower oil, keep kneading and pressing down and little by little, small bits of oil will start appearing and dripping out, which is very rewarding. To extract the oil further, I placed the bowl over hot water and then kept kneading and getting more and more sunflower oil out. One cup of seeds will not get you a huge amount, however, you will be putting your energy into it, therefore, the result will be very magical and very rewarding. Once the clump of seeds had turned dry, I then bottled up the sunflower oil. This can be used on hair, skin, and if you dab a little onto your heart chakra, it can be a great oil to help heal yourself from grief or help consume yourself with love. But as I mentioned earlier, this oil was to be used in cooking my feast. And the first thing I made was a sunflower loaf. The L in the word Lammas is short for loaf and mass in the word lamus means celebration. Traditionally, it was known to be a day to bake a loaf of bread using the newly harvested wheat and grains to share it with friends and family. You can really bake any bread you'd like to and use any seed you'd like to also, as lamus is really a celebration of the seed. This sunflower loaf needs to be proved twice and after it's first proved, I rolled it into a circular shape to symbolize the wheel of the year and then plaited three strands of dough together and made this cross symbol on top. This cross symbolizes the four quarters of the year and the plaits again symbolize wheat. But I have seen so many beautiful shaped loaves that you could try if you are feeling creative. I topped this with an egg wash and a scattering of more sunflower seeds and then it was in the oven. Along with this bread, 
I made a lot of other things from the fruits and vegetables that I bought. And one thing I do love to bake and eat is rhubarb. And for my rhubarb, I made a cheat rhubarb pie. Quick, simple and easy. With the rest of the harvested goods, as this Sabbath is a fire festival, I decided that these vegetables would be charred on the barbecue. Traditionally, bonfires were lit to honour the sun and are a great way to perform rituals to help you to let go. Whilst the barbecue was going to ember, I decided to honour Lammas and the harvest with a simple chant. Bless the earth that grows the grain. Bless the water that gives us rain. Bless the wind that seeds spread. Bless the fire that bakes our bread. Bless the earth that grows the grain. Bless the water that gives us rain. Bless the wind that seeds spread and bless the fire that bakes our bread. And the feast was served. What was your favourite below? All my love, Alwyn. <laughs>